these work. So the library now has four sets, four of these that can be taken out. People can borrow them for clipping webs. Pull this out, slide it in. There's a little, little hole. And uh, and so this, you can use this attachment just as a saw, and and to saw off larger, larger diameter branches. Um, really straightforward. And you can you can clip just the tips of the webs out. You know, you can clip this much off of the tips of the branches. Um, and, and clip just the tips off. If you can't reach them, then you might want to go back further down and go the branches way, or the, the web is way up there, but you can only reach you know, down to the branch here, then you might want to saw off a branch. But otherwise, you can use the, um, the pruner uh, attachment. And these, yeah. So this, um, you can un you know you can have this up as high as you need to, and uh, it just you can go right up to the to the web, and just you just need to clip the web itself off, especially if you do it in the spring when there's no when they're all in or early in the spring late winter, um, and uh, this works fairly well. You, yeah, and if you have a couple of uh, poles, you can even just stand it on the ground. And uh, and prune them off. So so that I would really recommend if you have any small trees that have winter webs in them, prune them out. For us, right around this area, we may not have as many this year, which is a great problem to have. I know some of the other other areas that this library services, they did not have as much luck with the with the diseases, and so there is still um, there are still a lot of webs out there.